Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name's Shane, this is Hacknet, and this is a game I've been wanting to give a go for quite some time. Um, the basic premise is you turn on your computer and you find a unfamiliar operating system installed. Anyway, enough of the setup, let's get on with this. Username, Shane. Password, I am not going to tell you what my password is because that would be silly. Alright, yep, we're going to be using English, so let's get on with this. Okay, we've got startup stuff. Scanning it to see if there's anything important. I doubt there is. I mean, this is just flavour. Oh. 14 day timer expired. Initialize and fail safe. Hi. This is strange. Stranger than I expected. I guess I'm supposed to write this in past tense, though I hardly feel like admitting it's over. My name is Bit, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. Ass, that's um, it's a heavy beginning. So now we've got some stuff loading in. Okay. Yeah, tutorial time. As of right now, you're at risk. Learn as quickly as possible. Begin the tutorial sequence by pressing the continue button below. Fair enough. As a little bit loud. Connect to a computer by typing connect. Open brackets IP in the terminal or by clicking on a node on the network map. Connect to your own computer. There we go. Good work. The first thing to do on any system is scan it for adjacent nodes. Scan this computer now. That should be all you'll need from your own server for now. Disconnect from this machine. Disconnect is down there, so let's do that. It's time for you to connect to an outside computer. Beware that attempting to compromise the security of another's computer is legal under the so 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 some kind of act. Protect Proceed at your own risk and connect to the outside machine by clicking a blue node on the network map. Let's go. Okay. This VM's terminal, virtual machines terminal module, has been activated. This will be your primary interface for navigating and interacting with nodes. A command can be run by typing it out and pressing enter. Computer security system and open ports can be analysed using a virt probe or map command. Okay. So let us type in probe. See what happens. There we go. Here you can see the active ports, active security, and the number of open ports required to successfully crack this machine using port hack. This machine has no active security and requires no open ports to crack. If you are prepared to... It is possible to crack this computer using the program port hack. Okay, um, let's see if just typing in port hack will work. Here we go. Congratulations, you have taken control. Took a little bit of time to go. Then. Congratulations, you have taken control of an external system. 
uh, now it's administrator. You can do whatever you like with it, however you should start by scanning for local notes. Um, yes. Here we go. No result, not a problem. Next, you should investigate the file systems. Let's have a look. Navigate to the bin folder, binaries folder. Search for useful executables using man cd folder name. Okay, so CD brackets. Uh, no, that's actually let's click the U first. To view the contents of the current folder you are in, use the command IS. There are no programs here, but you should look at config.txt in case it contains useful information. Uh, it doesn't. Totally useless. Now to clear your tracks before before you leave. Move up a folder in the directory tree by using CD. Move to the log folder. Here we go. Delete all files in this directory. You can delete a file using the command rm file name. However, you can delete all files in the current directory with the command rm star. That is an m, isn't it? It is, yeah. rm star. There we go. Let's clear everything out. Uh, excellent work. Disconnect from this computer. You can do so using the DC or disconnect command. So, DC, boom. There we go. Congratulations, you have completed the guide section of this tutorial. To finish it, you must locate the process ID of this tutorial, program, command, and kill it. Okay. Uh, let's find you. Let's have a look. What do we have? Command list page 103. Oh my god, that's a lot of commands. Scan for links. RM. This is currently running processes and their program IDs. So that's what we need. So, PS. Here we go. Brackets that should kill it. Excellent. And it would appear that we have got email. So let's click on this. Ah, bit first contact. Hi, I don't know you, and I'm sad to say that I never will. But if you're reading this, it means you might be the only person that can make things right. Right now I'm trapped, there's no way out and not enough time, and I need your help. But there's something you need to take care of first, the faster the better. Hackner OS wasn't meant to be released as it is now. After a while an automated tracker will activate itself. We can't let that happen. Connect to your own node, it should be green on your net map, yep we can see it. Then find and delete securitytracer.exe. When you're done, just report. Add you, wherever you are. Let's have a look. 
So, Hacknet Navigation Guide. Use display module, commands, CD, folder name. Alright, let's connect to my own thing. And we need to delete a program. So, file system, system, uh, da, 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 da. Nope. pin, security tracer.exe. So, how do we delete you? RM and file name. Okay, so let's go up. So, RM, open brackets, and it is called security tracer.exe, close bracket. Alright. Delete files using RM and file name. Okay. Oh, here we go. Delete files by typing. Hmm. Hmm. I'm probably making a bit of an idiot of myself now, so help. RM file name. Let's see if it. No, it says it's a file that's. So we've got nothing open there. Alright, fair enough. Uh, RM file name. RM star. There we go. So that's what we do. So that's deleted. Let's reply to our email. Reply. Oh, we don't actually need to add anything to that. Send. Okay then. I've got a new email from Bit. Getting some tools together. Great. That should keep you safe for now, at least from your own computer. Before we start, you're going to need a few things. Portac alone just isn't going to cut it on most modern computers you'll find. Not one of anything worth looking at anyway. You should start by checking up on a friend of mine. He goes by Viper. Awful, I know. He's honestly not the brightest crayon in the box. But he always seems to get a hold of useful code. You should have no trouble getting into his files. Finding something useful might be a bit more of a challenge. You can, for the most part, ignore the generic files. Stuff that gets logged. Or saved by a program. By a program. IRC logs and the like. Custom named things like .x files are what you want to look for. Download. Download any files you can use using the command scp. Good luck. Apply again once you're done. Let's add you. And we'll also add you. So we need to DC from this computer. Let's go visit Viper. Scan the network. Let's view, let's actually probe the system first. Here we go. So. Uh, open ports required for our hack. Let's use port hack. Let that run. 
Darkness break into Bit's friend's computer. You are now the administrator. Fair enough. Let's scan the network. We have found another computer, so we'll be looking at that later. Alright. Let's have a look for SCP. Not enough arguments. Fair enough. See if this works now. Hmm. Download file. Oh, right. Yeah, file name. So SCP, and this is called SSH crack dot exe. Hmm. Interesting. SCP. S S H. Close bracket. <sighs> Help. I have a feeling we're going to be using this quite a lot, you know. Alright. Uh, scan for links to connected machines. We've already done that. Moves or renames files to destination. Hmm. Analyze. Use port hack. Scan for JSON nodes. Clear logs. Download files with the command. <sighs> logs. System. Don't need any of that. Bin. So let's run you. Let's see if we actually have to run it to download it. SCP. SSH. Crack. Dot. Exe. Oh, does not exist. Oh, this is weird, and I don't like it. Hmm. SCP. What am I missing? What am I missing, guys? Am I spelling it wrong? Star. Here we go. That was strange. That was really, really strange, actually. Alright. So let's go to the logs. We've done you. And let's go RM star. And that will get rid of evidence that we've been here. Okay. And DC. So what are you? don't want to go there quite yet, we'll move things along this way. So we have you, let's reply and set. Alright, maiden flight. Congratulations, I have no way of knowing if you succeeded in this responder. 
But if you're seeing this, it means you at least found something. I'm going to assume it's something really useful. You should try breaking one of my old test servers. If Viper had the sort of thing he's known for getting lying around, you should have everything you need to get in. Remember, my any non-basic programs you get need a port number to run like this. Just find a port you want to crack and run it on that. Oh, and in case you don't know already, you can hit tab to autocomplete commands. Hitting SSH, then tab should autocomplete it to the full name. Works for everything. Okay, so we need to add that. And let's go to you. Alright, so we've got that done. We can close you now. Alright, let's go DC from this computer. And let's go here. Let's go to probe system. And let's go to SSH tab space and we will go with 22 there we go it's doing its thing and I believe we are in so let's click on you huh And let's port hack. There we go. The system is now ours. Let's scan the network. Scan's complete. Let's view the file systems. Let's go to the bin. Bin is empty log and that's us connecting so let us rm start you before I forget let's go to home oh hello we have things to read start with you shall we empty empty here we go, we've got something to read. Frank! No, oh, this is actually Frank speaking. Can you help me install GTA 3? Someone called Nightmare. First, shut down all programs you are using. Frank has quit. <laughs> good oh wow all right let's get cracking on this so John John 8 clearly in the interests of science I've replaced the word wand with Wang in the first Harry Potter book <laughs> let's see the results John John B why aren't you supposed to do magic asked Harry oh well I was at Hogwarts myself, myself, but I uh, got expelled. To tell you the truth, in my third year, they snapped me wang in half and everything. Painful. A magic wang. This is what Harry had been really looking forward to. <laughs> yes, yes. I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. It wasn't a question. You have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself. Buying her first wang. Ten and a quarter inches longer. Swishy. Made of willow. Nice wang for charm work. <laughs> Your father, on the other hand, favoured a mahogany wang. Eleven inches. Harry took the wang. He felt a sudden warmth in his fingers. He raised the wang above his head. Brought it swishing down through the dusty air. And a stream of red and gold sparks shot from the end like a firework. 
throwing dancing spots of light onto the walls. Oh, move over, Hermione, Hermione snarled. She grabbed Harry's wang, tapped the lock, and whispered, Alamora. The troll couldn't feel Harry hanging there, but even a troll will notice if you stick a long bit of wood up its nose, and Harry's wang had still been his hand when he jumped. It had gone straight up one of the troll's nostrils. He bent down and pulled his wang out of the troll's nose. He was covered in what looked like lumpy grey goo. Oh god. God, it keeps on going. He ran onto the field as you fell. Waved his wang and you sort of slowed down before you hit the ground. Then he twirled his wang at the Dementors, shot silver stuff at them. Okay, I have found definitive proof that J.K. Rowling is a dirty, dirty woman making a fool of us all. Yes, Harry said, gripping his wang very tightly and moving into the middle of the deserted classroom. He tried to keep his one, his, his mind on flying, but something else kept intruding. Any second now he might hear his mother's name, but he shouldn't think that, or he would hear her again, and he didn't want to, or did he? Something silver white, something enormous erupted from the end of his wang. Then, with a sigh, he raised his wang and prodded the silver substance with its tip. Get off me, Harry gasped. For a few seconds they struggled, Harry pulling at his uncle's sausage-like fingers with his left hand, his right maintaining a firm grip on his raised wang. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, let's continue. CD. So... We've done you and you and you. Is there anything in here? Yes. Lock. Alright, what have we got? Waiting for the boss to leave. Then I'll meet you out back. Do you think he has any idea? <laughs> I doubt it. He's got no idea about the shitstorm that's coming. Don't forget to hear the clear bro uh, don't forget to clear the browser history. We don't want him tracing it back to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it covered. He just grabbed his coat. And he's walking out the door now. Okay, give me a minute to set up the camera feed. Good to go. You got the three minutes before that static image falls down. I'll take the list, then we'll grab a pint to celebrate. I like the way these guys think. Okay. So this is between Vope and Rasputin. I wouldn't believe this shit if I told you. What? Did it work? Merc's banging down my door for the source. Damn son. Sounds like you've got sounds like you've hit the big leagues. You getting a decent payout? Twelve K. Not bad for two months of work. Wonder what they'll use it for. Probably to drain your bank accounts. <laughs> Good luck. Got no money for them to steal. <laughs> And so this is between Felix and Bleeding Cool. All good on my end. That idiot Bill got fired and I'm safe. <laughs> Great. I always hated Bill. You did me a favour. Not to mention the 10k kickback, right? Well, that helped too. So we good here? All good. I've got months of exclusives here. I'll hit you back next year. When the new Brisbane movie comes out. Later, boss. Congratulations, you win. <laughs> oh. Uh, test file. Oh no, that's the one we just did, isn't it? Ignore me, test file. Uh, I don't know if that's actually any good, so we'll leave it. Hobbs Terminator, 
terminal guide, text, text, okay. Handy list of commands you will want from the command list. Cat, file name, cd, is. cd, replace file names, string 1, string 2. Interesting. Right, let's go. Got nothing in the bin. Got nothing special in system. Here's the log. So, rm star. Let's get rid of what I've been doing. And DC. So, back to our computer. Let's go to here. Midnight fly. Uh, yep. And reply. Send something in return from bit. Nice work. Here's where it's going to start getting tougher. I need to ask a favour. I've been a little sloppy lately, which is what got me into this whole mess. It's why I'm writing this in the first place. Oh yes. Anyway, the point is, there's some logs on a few computers that I'd prefer weren't there. You should remember this. If you forget everything else I tell you, don't get sloppy. Delete your logs. If you haven't been, start now. Everything you do on any modern OS is tracked and logged in the log folder. Just go in there, RM the whole thing. Never forget to. Thanks. Good luck. Bit. So, we have request details. We have P. Anderson's bedroom. So we had you. Wow. That's really close. Alright. So, delete all files in the target computer's log file, the command R and delete everything. Okay, so, we are now running at half an hour, so I'm going to break this episode off. 